Hello guys, once again, it's Matt, and today we have another video. Thank you all the members of the patrons. Make sure to subscribe, and let's get into it. So, yes, let's take a quick look on the dev blog of the F-16D, the Barak 2. So, yeah, very interesting aircraft. I really wanted to talk a little bit about it, uh, even if it's just an overall uh, aircraft that we kind of already know how it will be implemented. But still, it is very interesting. The first thing is this. Let me just try to pause it. Uh, yes, uh, this is a 30mm pod, uh, the GAL-12, I think it is, I don't remember the name, but uh, still, it is the 30mm mini Vulcan kind of, mini Vulcan, no, mini GAL-8 kind of situation that we have in the A7s, so I don't know if this is going to be added to the F-16, but it is pretty interesting that it's here, I don't think every, anybody's, like, noticed that, right? Um, the other thing that we can notice over here, and of course, when they talk a little bit about the missiles, no Python 4. So I really, really doubt that we will see any Python 4s in the game uh, right now, maybe in the sh soonish future when Fox 3 missiles are added or anything like that, I don't know. They're probably just testing the missile, uh, so yeah, but no confirmation for the Python 4 uh, right now. Uh, an interesting fact is that they say as well, that the engine is going to produce more power than the block 50. I think in the dev it was the other way around. I don't remember exactly, but still, it will have more power than the, the block 50 from the Americans, apparently. But, I mean, they say that, but I don't know exactly how precise that is. Uh, but of course, it has extra weight and it will turn less due to that extra weight as well. Doesn't matter the, the amount of power you have you will still be limited to that. On the weaponry side, as we are saying about the 30 millimeters, of course, we can guide also the Sparrows, uh, clearly, the M, uh, clearly the M version, of course, A9Ls, A9Ms, A9Ps for some reason, uh, unguided bombs, rockets, everything like that. And then, of course, a lot of guided bombs. Um, you can use the GB-12, 16 and 10. Uh, so, yeah, as you see, the, the, the three of them over here. No, wait. This is the 15. So this one, this one, and this one, I think, on the back. And of course, we have the GBU 15 V2B. This bomb is actually pretty interesting. It is a guided bomb that is TV guided, but it has a thermal imaging system. So it's IR guided. So very, very interesting. I don't know, it's different, you know. Uh, it's an interesting bomb, and it's a very large one. I wish they did, like, GBU 12 versions of this one uh, with this guidance system, but it was probably not possible maybe because of the size i don't know um it was a, a the cold war stuff it wasn't like today um it is right now right but still it is an interesting aircraft and i cannot wait to actually use it especially for cast i think uh one of the main features of it compared to the block 50 will be the countermeasures it has this little uh pod of flares in the fin over here uh that actually carries like 80 more countermeasures so, and it, the way that it actually, like, deploys it makes it kind of an angel or kind of those situations where I think it will be a very effective defense weapon. You have way more flares than the MiG-29, more flares than the F-16C, more flares than F-16A, more flares than almost any aircraft besides probably the F-14. But, I mean, come on, right? And the way that it deploys it, it will be very effective. So... Even though it will lack a little bit on the performance, I still think this will be one of the most strong aircraft in the game. You know, it will be a very complete aircraft, be doing cast, doing air, doing anything. And together with these countermeasures and stuff, I mean, it will be a very, very deadly weapon uh, in the skies, you know. So, yeah, very, very cool. But basically, this is it, guys. Hopefully, the patch comes very soon. They say they are currently finalizing and preparing for this update. So, probably this week, I would say. Most likely, you know. Um, maybe tomorrow, maybe Wednesday, maybe Thursday. We don't know. But I'm pretty sure this week. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. And I see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. See you.